Hello everyone, the No Recoil XM4. Let's get into it. For this video, I'll be using the new Taylor Drift Scottish Try Hard Beta script. To download this one, you'll need to get it from the Taylor Drift Discord. There'll be a link to that Discord in the description of this video. If you want to use this script, you'll need to have the newest firmware on your Zen and you'll need to install the script and you'll need to install the script with the beta version of Zen Studio. If you're not sure how to do that, I have a video uploaded already explaining how and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Also, if you're brand new to this script, I'll leave a link in the description too to another video of mine explaining how to set this script up, how to enter the menu, navigate the menu and everything. First off, let's have a look at these attachments. It's the standard Warzone build pretty much. So agency suppressor, task force barrel, three times scope, field agent grip, 60 round mag. You can also go to 50 if you want it, or is it 45, whatever the other one is. 45, 60, it's up to you, uh, but I'm running the 60. All right, so I'm going to go through some anti-recoil stuff for this weapon. Got a couple of choices for you. We've got rumble anti-recoil and also progressive anti-recoil. Now, it depends on the type of player that you are as to which one you're going to go with. If you, you know, you don't really want to spend a whole heap of time working out values, that sort of thing, and you don't really care if the weapon maybe moves around just a tiny little bit, uh, then rumble's going to be the one for you. But if you prefer everything to be absolutely precise and you, you don't mind sitting there and working out bays, that sort of thing, then you're going to have to go with progressive, all right? Now, I'll put some clips on the screen for you now so you can see what it's like shooting with rumble because when you're shooting at people, uh, it's completely different compared to shooting at a wall and that's because there's aim assist. Now, you can see here by the clips that I'm absolutely beaming the shit out of people and this is just using rumble anti-recoil, not, not progressive. Now, with rumble, all I was using uh, was the vertical value of 20 and horizontal of nothing, all right? Now, that's not going to be the same for every person that uses this script and uses this weapon. That's just not how it works. Um, now, you will need to find a value that's going to suit whatever settings you're playing on, and it's very simple. You're just going to keep turning up that vertical strength until you get it to a point where you're happy. Um, you'll know you're pretty happy with it when you shoot at somebody and it doesn't move, all right? So uh, it's pretty easy to figure out. If you shoot at somebody and, you know, their recoil kicks up a tiny bit, then just turn your vertical value up a little bit as well. You know, it's, it's quite easy to work out. Again, you can see by the clips, absolutely beaming, but when I shoot at a wall, this is what it looks like, okay? So just so we get the idea, oh, 60 sort of moves up a little bit down. You know, it, there's a fair bit of movement there. Okay, is the point I'm trying to get. It. Here we go, man. Why, bro? Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, what I was saying was, you know, there's a bit of movement there when you shoot at the wall. It's never going to be a complete dot on the wall when you're using Rumble Anti-Recall uh, with this weapon and, you're, and you have this build in particular. It's just not going to happen. So, um, but as you see, when shooting at people, it's completely different. So, you know, if you don't really care about that sort of thing, just chuck some rumble on, don't play the game. However, if you are a bit more of a perfectionist, then you're going to need to use progressive anti-recoil for this one. And this is how you're going to do it. So again, not the exact values. I'm not saying copy these exact values. This is the process that you're going to follow. All right. So we're going to go advanced progressive and we're going to go to the hybrid option here. We're going to maybe try maybe 20, 20 and 20. Let's go 3000. And the recall goes to the right. So I'll try negative three, negative three, negative three, and 3,000 as well. Uh, you can copy the time if you want, put 3,000 as well. But you don't have to copy these exact values. I'm not recommending that. You can try 20, 20, 20 if you want to. You can try 15, 15, 15, 30, 30. It's, it's up to you, all right? Just start on something. So it saves. All right. So pretty good at the start. And then it starts to move up uh, towards the end of the clip there, the mid and the end. So what we'll do is we'll go back into the advanced. We'll leave the start because it was good at the start, but then it started to go up towards the end of the clip. So let's try putting the end, uh, the mid and the end up, sorry. And it's still going to the right. So let's try negative four, negative four and negative four. Back out so that saves. Make sure it saves, we're good to go. And let's see. We've still got a little bit of, okay. Sort of goes down at the start over to the right. So let's go back in. Let's try again, maybe. Let's leave, the, let's leave the start for horizontal. Maybe we'll try something like that because it is going more towards the end of the clip. Um, it went down at the start, so then maybe let's try 19. And it's going sort of up towards the end, so maybe we'll try something like that. Back out so that saves. And we test again. Not too bad, a little bit of movement. Now it's coming back over towards the left. All right, so the horizontal part that I changed was a bit too much. So maybe let's try, but leave those. Maybe we'll do something like that instead. And we have another look. We get, we're getting somewhere. We're getting there. It's not too bad. It sort of stayed still, then went down towards the mid and the end. So let's go 32 and 32. Try that one. Uh, but this is what's going to take, you know, if you are, like I said before, a bit of a perfectionist, you want to spend some time and make sure it's going to be perfect, then this is what you're going to have to do. You have to sit here and work out these values, but I promise you really, you really don't need it. You really can just, uh, 
you know, work on uh, the rump work with Rumble Anti Recall and being the shit out of people, no issues at all. But if you want to use progressive, obviously it's fine. It's there for a reason. Um, and let's try this one. Now we're going up still, for fuck's sake. This is why it's a pain in the ass. Oh, for fuck. Oh, some, bro, this is, this is a fucking joke, honestly. Fuck, fuck off. See, it beamed that person there. All right, let's have a look at it when you shoot at the wall. Let's have a look. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter, see? So when you shoot at somebody, it really doesn't fucking matter. It's not going to... Oh, I can't control it. It's not going to matter. Either way, let's have a quick look again. Let's try and get it perfect, you know, because I know what some people are like. Let's have a look. Anti-recoil. We're going up again. Maybe I'll put this back to 20. I don't bloody know. Have a look again. Save and go. I think we finally got... That's honestly... Maybe if you want to put the vertical end up a little bit more, go for it. But let's be honest, you're not going to have trouble hitting people with that. That's not going to be an issue. If somebody was here, right, all of those would have hit. Look at it. No issues at all, all right? But either way, that's the process you're going to have to follow, not the exact values. I mean, I'll show them again, but this, I'm not saying copy these exact values. That's how it works. This is more just a point of showing you uh, the process you need to follow to work out those progressive NC recall values. Uh, so using hybrid... Uh, as you can see there, the vertical start, uh, oh, sorry, the vertical mid and the end is going to need to be uh, higher than the start there. And you're going to have to put those horizontal vase into the negative to get a uh, pretty decent result. All right, so I wanted to explain it on ADFOV, but I kept getting hunted down by rats, so I had to start another game. But here we go. Um, we're just going to go through and work out the same anti-recall stuff, but this is on ADFOV, all right? So I'm just going to show you it all works out the exact same way. Um, you still, you know, put the values in the same way. It's the same process to work things out. It still works. Let's have a look here. Let's go uh, maybe 24. Five. Uh, we know these ones need to be higher, so let's try maybe 35. 35. I left the times in there before. Put these. Let's go negative four, negative five, and negative five. And back out so that one saves. All right, so let's see what we got. We're going up. Does it come back down? No. All right, it's going up the entire time. So because it goes up the entire time, let's try turning all the values up. By how much is completely up to you. Try something like that. And that's saved, perfect. Go again. Now we're going up. Still going up, all right. So again, we go back in. Over here, let's try 33, 43, 46. Let's try that. Straight again. Oh, pretty good. Started to move up towards the middle and the end there. All right, so maybe and maybe we try uh, leaving that one and maybe something like that. Just put the mid up for now. That's what I wanted. There we go. All right. Let's see what that one's like. Okay. All of a sudden, we're completely different. No worries. I'm just going to try that again. Just in case I had a bit of stick drift there. I just want to make sure. Because this controller is fucking busted. Yeah, that's exactly what I fucking thought. I'm trying this again. That's cap. Yeah. All right. Sweet. There we go. All right, cool. So uh, it's going up against that tiny little bit. Those last few bits, it's 100% my controller. So it's <laughs> the thing. It's absolutely it's fucked. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's try again. But it, let's be honest, you're not going to have issues hitting people with that. If you're complaining about that, then I mean the Zen's not going to help you anymore. You know, it's it's not the Zen's issue. Um, now let's just try it just in case. Please, no stick drift. Play to the controller gods. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Either way, you're getting the point, right? So, uh, as you can see, we started over here. That's, that was with anti-recaller. Let's just turn it off just for an example, right? Just for an example. So, off. Uh, this is what we had, all right? Working out some values there. I know it's not a complete dot on the wall, but you can't win them all. Uh, if you want to sit there and work it out until it is, go for it. But you, you really don't have to. But either way, without anti-recoil. Um, okay. So, pretty big difference. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, if you're complaining about that, um, it's not the Zen's fault. So anyway, it's quite easy to work out. Doesn't matter, 120 FOV, 80 FOV. It's all, you know, maybe not easy to work out. But 
it's definitely possible uh, to get some decent results out of it. And there we go. So that's everything I wanted to go through for the video. As you've seen, even I struggle with progressive anti-recoil sometimes, but it's still possible to find those values. You just need to go through that process I've shown you and you'll be able to get there. Now, when I was going through the progressive stuff, if you're new to it, it's going to be very confusing. You're probably wondering what the hell is going on. So I recommend watching my tutorial on progressive anti-recoil that will explain it a lot more in depth for you. I've got a few, you know, visual examples that'll help you, you know, learn what's going on um, by actually, you know, showing you what progressive anti-recoil is doing. So if you want a bit more of an in-depth, you know, tutorial on that, I'll leave a link in the description. Check that one out. But for now, I'm done. I'll leave you with some clips of me using the weapon. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fucking! Alpha's nearly reached the first checkpoint. You're a bitch. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's just gone. I'm taking fire! Got from the pregame lobby. <laughs> oh. oh no! Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 